what's up youtube it's your girl miss tink that's m-i-z-z not m-i-s-s yes and we're back at it again for our, our recap for power season three episode seven don't go and after that we, of course we're going to do our love and hip-hop atlanta i done stayed up to watch it like i said I had a long day doing this hell but now we're going to get to these reviews because i was able to watch it and take my notes okay so let's get into it okay Alright, so Power, this episode was off the chain. Y'all, sorry I couldn't watch it last night. Should sure I say Monday, well, not Monday, but Sunday because I worked the double, like I said in my um, VMAs review, and a girl was tired, okay? Crashed. 16 hours, I crashed as soon as I got home, so that's why. So let's get to the Power, then Love and Hip Hop. So Ghost is laying in bed. He having these old, you know, memories, of course, of Angela, and he's trying to explain himself or whatever. He think he's talking to Angela. Angela's like, it's okay. He's like, I'm going to fix this. She's like, okay. So they lean in for the kiss and all of that stuff. And, of course, he's like, I love you. She's like, I know you do. But Angela ain't there. No, uh-uh. So that's when ghosts get a text or whatever saying I'm outside. I'm wondering if that was, you know, Milan or was it Tommy. But we shall see. After that, we see Angela talking to her sister. She all upset and distraught. And, you know, Paz, a.k.a. Dianera Mama, is just being you know just a sister that she could be basically saying you know fuck him you find somebody else because angela was like you know everything i done told him about we living in the fantasy and all of that stuff uh, you know he threw that all back up in my face and then you know sister was like was he wrong i mean i'm just saying i mean her sister wants her to get over it wants her to have better like she's saying you know you deserve better you find somebody better but angela don't you know of course what they say the heart wants what the heart wants you know sometimes your heart wants what your head say you don't need and sometimes your head say what you need and your heart's like no you don't need it people it's just a you know y'all know that whole slogan you know how it is i ain't even about to repeat it. it's too tired but y'all know what it is sometimes the heart can get you fucked up you know worse than what your mind could but you know then that's when her sister brings up the whole thing about, you know, did he sign the separation papers, all this stuff, because he's not even divorced. And the sister couldn't say anything, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it is what it is. Then while um, Angela's crying, that's when she get a knock at the door, come to find out it was one of her people's down there, you know, at the federal building, whatever, saying, you got to come down and bring your laptop, bring your cell phone, some shit's about to go down. I was like, oh, shit, okay. Uh, Bassett Hound or whatever and goes to talking about the deal. They all happy and stuff. Andre come around the corner. He all happy too or whatever. And basically Milan people is watching Ghost basically let him know like nigga we still watching your ass. And I'm like okay, okay. Um, after that we see Angela walking down to the um federal building whatever and there's people in there looking or whatever. And I'm like who is all these... You know, people looking, couldn't find out, y'all. It was Office of Professional Responsibilities. And before then, um, before we even bring up the whole Bassett Howland thing, because y'all know I'm all over the place. I'm tired. Y'all forgive me. Angela Dess has been cleared out, y'all. So apparently Angela is in some hot water, hot shit. And the Office of Professional Responsibility is on that ass in this precinct. Okay? Okay. N.T ways um they're over there talking to people and stuff like that trying to figure out what happened as far as being the who's the rat or whatever since lobos is dead and all of this stuff like that and then that's when um before they even talk to the individual people they talk to the guy that's over the whole team or whatever and they basically said look we got phone records uh right before lobos was killed a call was made cell phone tower picked it up and when we traced it back it traced it to here and there's a couple of calls that's been traced to an unmarked number that's been traced back to here so you have a mole in this office and we all know who it is it's mike but of course they don't know so that's why mj and them they all look and so now they gotta question everybody and i'm like lord jesus what's going on okay tommy and julio show up to uh truth or whatever and you know andre's coming down he speaks to julio tommy julio and tommy tommy gives him the finger like nigga fuck you you know what i'm saying but of course julio and dre they still cool they do the little dab thing tommy and ghost go outside to talk or whatever ghost and you know he don't want to talk in there or whatever or i guess he's getting ready to meet up with you know um the um Serbians or whatever, Milan and them crew. But he asks, um, Tommy asks Ghost about Angela or whatever. And he's like, did you kill her, basically? And I'm thinking, like, I thought you meant basically, like, cut her off, like, get rid of her, not kill her, Tommy. But damn, Tommy ruthless. You know, he done lost Holly. He don't give a shit. Ghost talking about, look, I done broke it off with her. I'm not in her bed no more. She's safe. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, chill what you call the hell out. Check your attitude. We need to do what to do. And as he's telling, um, Ghost is telling Tommy this, he looks at Tommy's necklace to see the ring, you know, of course. He knows that Tommy, not Tommy, but Holly was pregnant, but Tommy don't know that just yet. So, hey, it is what it is. Milan's crew get out of the damn um, 
stretching them or whatever and pat them down or whatever. And Andre's asking Ghost, do you want me to go? Ghost, like, you know, you stay in Julio asking too. And that's when um Tommy was like, nah, you stay in handle your business. And lo and behold, the whole time Kanan is watching them. And I'm like, what the fuck? Damn. So this scene, mm, it's going to get good. Let's get to some more shit. All right. Tyreek and Tasha are getting ready to go to the counselor or whatever. You got two more sessions and then he can get on with his life. Tasha brings up the whole thing about career day. Tyreek is still upset. He's like, fuck my daddy, basically. He ain't say fuck my daddy, but, you know, it is what it is. He says, you know, mom, you even hate dad. And Tasha, you know, she's trying to be the good mom, you know, be like, you know what, I, ain't, I don't hate your dad or whatever. And that's when Tyreek must have lost his damn mind and called his mama a fucking liar right along with Ghost. I was like, what the hell? So Tasha asked Reese to slap him, and Tyreek blocks him. My thing is, Tasha, you got another free hand. He got another uh, free side of his face. Slap his ass like Martin Mama said, I'm going to take it here and take it there. Just pop, pop. Once he blocked that, you could have came back with the other one. Pow, I'm just saying, if that was Cheryl, I might have blocked this one, but she would have got me quick with this one. Like, cold cock me in the other one. I'm just saying. But, you know, Tasha got a little scared and basically told her to get his ass in the back room. Like, Tasha, you know you a good bitch. You done seen ghosts go from hell and back before y'all even had the kids. You know you know how to get more good in that. You should have got more good on his ass than that. But, you know, I ain't no mama. I don't got no kids, so I don't know. But I'm just saying, Cheryl... I would have been getting my feet up off the floor if I would have did like that to Cheryl. I'm just saying, especially at that age. But let's go and get to some old shit. All right. So after all of that, of course, Tasha called Ghost and told Ghost what it was or whatever. We see Mike getting questioned by MJ and him, asking about the DC transfer or whatever. Because, of course, you know, he was basically got the transfer to get Lobos to DC or whatever. But he brings up, of course... Angela, because everybody's trying to throw Angela's name under the bus, which I don't understand that. He brings up Angela was a part of, basically, I guess, sending out the transfer or whatever. And I'm like, really, Mike? But I understand he's trying to cover his own ass. Angela is basically put on the spot, and they bring up out her history of the fucked up shit that she's been doing. So Angela's like, what the fuck? Then Knox gets questioned. Knox ain't worried about the shit because he believes in his heart there's a mole in the damn team, which I understand. You know what I'm saying? Then they question old boy Jerry or Donovan or whatever, question him about um, his actions or whatever. Sex as brings up the whole relationship between Angela and Knox or whatever. And while they, you know, while he talking about that, we see MJ and old boy going through Sax's um, file and see some pictures. And I'm like, what pictures? I want to see. So Sax is put on the hot seat. And I'm like, Lord, what the hell? I'm, mm -mm. We're going to see. Everybody basically is... um cleared about the whole John Doe case about talking to other people about it except for Sax because Sax admits that he's talked to Knox but he didn't bring up the whole John Doe case to Knox so mm, Sax okay okay all right so now we see um they talking to Sax whatever not Sax but Knox Knox admits to stalking Angela he, he ain't no shame in this game you know he is adamant about James Angela he wants to bring her ass down he's butthurt and hell he believes it's a mole, which I understand that, but it's not Angela, it's Mike. But we shall see, you know what I'm saying? And um, <clears throat> they also um, uh, figured out in the midst of doing all these interviews, they also figured out that Lobos was dead. Mike seemed a little bit like okay with it, but Angela was upset about it. So I'm like, what? Why Angela? But everybody else ain't even worried about it except for Angela. I'm like, okay, that's kind of... Mm -hmm. Ghost and Tommy are riding with Milan or whatever. And I'm like, Lord Jesus. Tommy's over here asking questions. Nigga, do you really eat people? Ghost is scared of shit, calling him hefe and shit. And I'm like, Lord Jesus. But I want to know, Milan, do you really eat people? I'm just saying, do you really do? I'm just saying, I just, I just want to know. But hey, you know, it is what it is. Um, Angela's upset. She goes to the bathroom or whatever. That's when MJ come in and they have this little girl talk or whatever. And MJ basically said, look, bitch, you might as well go ahead and find you a nice little comfy ass job before you start losing all that charisma and all that sexy face after you turn a certain age like I did, okay? Before you turn into a pumpkin. And then that's when Angela takes it upon herself to ask MJ about the whole Lobo's death. And, you know, MJ was like, look, that ain't my concern and that damn show ain't but I'm going to tell you one thing. East Precinct is looking all into this and it's going to lead right back to here. Just know. And I was like, ooh, all right, MJ. She a bitch, but I kind of like her. But she a bitch, though. I'm just saying. It is what it is. Milan and them arrived to um, Tommy and Ghost and them hide out. They got all the guys tied up and shit. And I'm like, Lord Jesus. And that's when Milan brings up to um, to Tommy that kill Callahan, a.k.a. the preacher, you know, because he's doing the gun thing. And Tommy like, I ain't killing Callahan. He's one of our best people. I'm not killing him. No, I'm not doing that. No, fuck that. I don't got to do what you say. Tommy don't give a fuck. He done lost it all with Holly. He don't give two shits. And I'm like, Lord Jesus. I'm mm, mm, mm. And then after that, um, 
Milan goes to Ghost and tells Ghost that he's going to be selling a product in his nightclub. And I'm like, oh, Lord, what the hell? I'm just saying, okay. Somebody comes up to Milan's ear and tells him about whatever this dude did. And Milan strangles the fuck out of this dude and then snaps his neck. And I was like, what? Goes up to Ghost and say he didn't do what I asked him to do. And I'm like, okay. Ghost was scared of shit, too. I don't give a shit what nobody said. You know what I'm saying? Then that's when Milan tells Ghost, I want you to um, write me a traveler's cashier's check or whatever to my security. And I want to hear by the end of the day. And I'm like, Lord. Lord Jesus, see, mm mm. Ghost is like, what? Like, what the fuck? Ghost is wondering, like, what the fuck is up? I'm like, Jesus Christ. After that, um, he, not he, but Milan talks to his guys and his, um, you know, um, Serbian uh, language about, you know, it's gonna be a matter of time before. Uh, Ghost realized Tommy is very useless. And I'm like, uh-oh, I hope y'all ain't trying to pin them two against each other. I love them two. I love the ebony and the ivory of the drug world. Not them. I'm just saying. After that, Ghost and Tommy are talking. And Tommy just don't give two shits. Ghost asks him, do we have any clean money? Because he don't really have that much money. Ghost like, Tommy like, you can take all my money. I don't give a shit. But I ain't got time to be risking my money on a product that I ain't never just dealt with. And Milan gonna have to deal with that bullshit. It is what it is. And I'm like, okay, what the hell? Ghost wondering what's up with Tommy's attitude. And Tommy's like, nigga, look, I don't got time for this shit. Because Ghost was like, you know, I need you. He's like, nigga, look, I don't give a fuck about no, you know what I'm saying, Serbian motherfuckers, okay? I done took over since you done left the game. I'm the motherfucking boss. You don't tell me what the fuck to do. I'm going to handle it. And I was like, um, Ivory, I don't think you need to be acting like that, Tommy. Because I'm just saying it is what it is. But... Seem like you will lose cannon when Ghost ain't around, but okay, I don't know. They even each other out in a sense, though, but I don't know. Tommy, mm -hmm. Ghost and Tasha, whatever, are talking about Tyreek or whatever. And, of course, you know, Ghost is talking to um uh, Tasha that, you know, he's going to talk to Tyreek. And then he says, Tyreek is still upset about the game. And my thing is, you tell Tasha everything. Why you couldn't tell Tasha about the hit? But then again, maybe that'll cause for Tasha to really not let the kids around uh, Ghost or whatever. But, you know, Ghost admits to it that, you know, he ain't seen Angela no more. And he needs some little money or whatever. And this, that, and the third. And Tasha's like, hell no, I ain't got time for this. Nope, nope. I don't, I'm not giving you no money. I ain't got time for this shit. Nope, nope, nope. I ain't giving you shit. So, hell. Look like can't get the money from Angela. So, I guess. Um, Dre is taking the trash out. Kane and run up on him. Scared the shit out of his ass. He's like, man, what was up? I thought you said Tommy and Ghost weren't cool. He was like, nigga, I didn't know what the fuck was going on. If something going on, they ain't telling me, nigga. Like, you need to chill. He was like, well, look, you need to tell me what's up. You need to find out what it is. Because me sleeping in these cars and all this shit ain't cutting it. Like, I ain't cutting out here. So, tell me what's up. And you need to call me. He's like, all right, nigga, I'm going to call you. I'm going to call you. I was like, oh, Lord. After that, we see Bassett Hound or whatever talking to um ghost or whatever passing out and her daddy and then ghost of course acts now saying he ain't got no money but we all know the reason why he doing it or whatever making it seem like he ain't got no money best and how daddy ain't feeling it he look like these niggas nigga here a nigga who think he got it ain't even got it all floss a fake ass nigga but you know we all know Ghost gonna bounce back. But Bassett Hound was like look daddy got into it today so chill out so she calmed her daddy down but then told ghost you need to get this money so ghost figure out something baby because I don't know what to tell you, so hey, it is what it is. Um, Tasha gives Tommy some money, like a cashier check or whatever. And as soon as Tommy get ready to leave, which I don't understand why Tasha didn't let him, Tasha just so crying about Holly and then mentions the golden statement. Holly was pregnant and Tommy's face was crushed. You can see he's even more to a depression, more heartbroken. I was like, oh, Tasha, why? Because Tommy thought that Tasha meant about the hit or whatever, about what Holly tried to do with the, with the Jamaicans, and that wasn't it. And I was like, damn. But he, didn't, of course, didn't mention anything about what he did. So now Tommy is just basically all crazy and shit, thinking about the baby and all that shit, and playing with that ring. You can see in his face, he's just heartbroken. I was like, Lord Jesus, oh, Jesus. So the Office of Professional Responsibility, a.k.a. MJ and M, questioning Knox again about what's going on as far as with Lobos or whatever and then everything like that. And then first, you know, they go back into his rundown about his whole thing with Angela and all of this stuff. They try to put it on him, but Knox flipped that shit and put it right back on Angela's ass and made MJ think, yeah, I'm going to have to talk to Angela. I was like, all right, Knox. Knox ain't going down by himself. He like, I'm taking all y'all bitches down with me. This, bad, this shit bigger than me and Knox, you know what I'm saying? Like, he didn't need no brown. This shit bigger than Knox. This shit bigger than Nino Brown. I was like, okay, mm-hmm. Ghost looking at pics or whatever, and then that's when, um, 
Dre come in and saying, what's up, man? Like, he's looking at the pictures of the um, IDs and see the um, ID of Tatiana. Dre comes in and is like, man, what's up, man? What's going on? How you left? Whatever. What's going on? Like, how can I be down? Ghost is dumbass. Instead of taking um, Dre outside, which I don't understand why, Ghost ass takes Dre to where the bar is where he think nobody ain't listening and tells Dre the whole rundown about, you know, um, the um, Serbians and Vladimir and Milan and look like Milan reputation get around because Dre was like, the nigga that eat people? Yeah, the nigga that eat people. And I was like, oh shit. So now Dre went in and now Ghost is like, yeah, you can um, go ahead. I'm going to let you in. I need you to look up Tatiana. And I'm like, Lord Jesus. Now they looking for this Tatiana girl. I thought the bitch was dead. But we shall see. So let's go and get to some more shit. All right, y'all. Finally, they got Mike up in there. Mike is talking to MJ about Lobos and stuff. Talk about if Lobos was dead, would I still be alive and all of this BS. And at first, I thought they found a guy with Mike. But Mike, again, like I said, everybody flipped it right back to Angela. Angela. Angela and her, basically, her relationship with Ghost, a.k.a. James St. Patrick. And I was like, oh, Lord, here we go with this bullshit. Lord Jesus. Ghost comes to get, um, basically, the rest of his things from Angela House and Paz is there. Paz got his shit packed, ready to go, saying, get the fuck out. My sister don't want you. You fucked up. You fuck you. She loved you and all this shit. You fucked up. And that's when, um, you know what I'm saying, um, Paz also brings up the fact that, you know, now, uh, damn, her job and shit, she in trouble. They done came down here, came to her house, rushed her back into the precinct. Now she in trouble behind your ass and all of this shit. And Ghost looking like, what the fuck? And then gonna try to tell Paz I'm a good guy. But we all know how Paz is. Paz ain't playing that shit. Paz told Ghost straight up, if you come near my sister again, okay, if you come near my sister again, I'm going to kill your ass. I'm going to get your ass. You already know. She's going to go back to her oranges, the new black ways. I'm like, all right. Okay. And Ghost has basically got his shit and left. And I'm like, Ghost is like, bitch, please, I'll break you. But he understand anyways. After that, um, we see Angela, um, not Angela, but MJ's going through Angela's text or whatever. Apparently, um, yeah, she peeping the shit about him, her texting Ghost or whatever. And that's when the truth comes out. Angela basically felt bad or got in her feelings because MJ was putting it out there talking about Ghost used you, he did this, he did that, which I kind of think he did, but Angela clapped back and said, no, I used him, I did what I had to do to get Lobos and all of this shit, and then the third, and I was like, oh, Lord, okay, 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 and, and you know, and MJ like, all right, you can go, we need to talk to Ghost, that's what she says once Angela left, like, I'm like, oh, Lord, now they finna go trail on Ghost, I was like, Lord Jesus. Con uh, Tommy comes to the damn church, talk to Callahan or whatever, try to get him to basically stop selling and shit. First, he was going on and on and talking about how he wish he could take it all away because, you know, he's hurting about the baby, whatever. But then he tells Callahan, don't sell no more. And Callahan was like, well, wait a minute, I got to He's like, look, nigga, I'm trying to save your life. Don't sell no more. I had the gun cocked and everything. And Callahan was like, you know what? You ain't finna shoot me in this fly-by-night holy um, temple that we call the church. And we up in these damn prayer pews. So, okay, we're not going to do that. Thank you, Jesus. All right, we're good to go. Go, have a good day and that's how that ended i was like all right callahan stopped though mm -hmm. angela is at home very upset or whatever going over um looking at um some of the stuff as far as aka james shoe or whatever she's upset then she calls tasha meets tasha downstairs at the lobby tasha going off like bitch why the fuck is you here and that's when angela gets the question tasha talking about was you with james that night that lobos or whatever this that they're basically the night that he killed lobos and she was like uh, yeah, I was my husband. She's talking about, don't lie for him. If you lie for him, it's um, basically trouble for you. They could take your kids and all this stuff. He, she basically tried to threaten her. And at first, I thought she was going to get Tasha. But Tasha was like, bitch, no, fuck that. I'm a gutter bitch. I'm that hood bitch. I was with Ghost when Ghost didn't have shit. First of all, bitch, I was fucking him the whole night. That's my husband, okay? She gonna ask why you take him back. She said, bitch, I'm his wife with his children. At the end of the day, I know that's right, bitch. He only served you or showed you a separation paper that he has yet to, um, that you have yet to see if he signed, okay, for one. Not no divorce paper, so I am still his wife, okay? All you was was a damn midlife crisis and the crisis is over. And I was like, ooh, Tasha got ass, but Tasha was just staying face because as soon as she walked around that corner, she was like, shh. But we all know Tasha, that good bitch. That's why I love me some Tasha. So, sorry, Angie. Deuces. Bye-bye. Let's go and get to some more shit. Kanan ass, a.k.a. 50 Cent character, need your ass killed, shot to death, hanged, beheaded. You need a damn scholarship all the way. What they say, clear ride, whatever ride of a scholarship you need straight to hell. That's what you need. 
his ass over here taking these bags in with this lady or this old lady, whatever. That's when Drake gives him the call and gives him the rundown tea about Vladimir and how Ghost scared now. Ghost works for, you know, the um, Serbians and all that shit and all that. And then as soon as that, as soon as he gets that tea, he's going to tell him to hold on and smothers the lady and kills the lady. And I was like, oh my goodness, she killed the lady for her apartment because he was tired of sleeping in his car. I was like, you need to go to hell. Like, what the hell? And the whole time, Drake actually stayed on hold. You didn't hear none of that, Drake? Like, damn, but okay. Then you gonna tell uh, Dre that we're gonna give Ghost a history lesson. I was like, what the hell? They gonna kick the lady's um, uh, um, hand like that. You wrong. You need your ass. Well, you need your ass whooped. I'm just saying. Lord Jesus. Um, Tyreek and Ghost are talking about the whole thing about what he did by raising his hand to Tasha, talking about Rim and apologize. And Ghost must have snapped and he must have been in his feelings because as soon as he said, apologize or whatever, and Tyreek agreed. Tyreek said, so you want me to apologize to your side bitch, Angela? He yanked his ass up talking about what you say you little motherfucker i was like that is not one of your workers that is your child okay what is wrong i understand he shouldn't have been popping off because you know what i'm saying but bring it back to reality ghost that is not one of your workers that owe you money that is late okay that is your child i was like damn once he snapped back we see uh tyreek pushed off him and walked away and i was like shit you already know go shoot him fucked up after that, Tasha runs in or whatever, said, you didn't tell me we was having guests. Come to find out it was motherfucking Mulan and Tatiana. Tatiana's alive, y'all. Ghost looking like he done seen a damn ghost, okay, when he looked at Tatiana. Oh, my Jesus. But when I tell you that Tasha stayed face, she stayed cute or whatever, maintained, you know, entertained. Mulan looking like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, you know, I was fucking here, right? And at first, it was going to just have dinner and Ghost was like, just with the adults. But Mulan was like, no, nah, bring the kids. Go see what he was doing. He said, hey, to Raina, hey, to Tyreek. I don't know if he said, hey, to the other little baby girl. But basically, he's trying to get to know the family so the family would see him, a.k.a. to get underneath Ghost's skin, in a sense. He said, family is important to Ghost. It's like it's important to me. I was like, oh, shit. Or maybe he flipped that around, but y'all know what I mean. I was like, damn, Ghost, you could tell he's scared as shit. This is the first time I've ever seen Ghost so scared. And I was like, oh, shit. Tasha still staying face or whatever. They have their little dinner or whatever. And then, um... While they having their little dinner, we see Tommy ass at the damn grave site drinking and stuff, talking to Holly, or should I say, we all know the damn uh, fly by night ditch, or should I say, the made homemade grave, you know. He's in it, out of it, not in it, but out of it, drinking or whatever. And that's when we see Milan's dudes come and take him to some little abandoned house to start to proceed to whooping his ass and talk about, you know, dude was like, kill him. And I was like, oh my shit, Lord Jesus, no, Lord Jesus. So after they all finish, um, eating or whatever um at the dinner or whatever milan was like no first ghost was like i'm not selling the club milan was like oh yeah you gonna mm -hmm, you better think twice about crossing me you gonna sell in these motherfucking clubs he smokes a cigarette in the house and i'm like damn the smoke detectors didn't go off what the hell like come on it is kids in them basically he says he has too many attachment men which makes him very vulnerable and i mean he has a soul milan but we understand you eat people i'm just saying like I don't know. That's just, I didn't feel right. Like, are you going to eat Tasha and the kids? I'm just saying, I know Tasha look good enough to eat, but that don't mean eat her literally. I'm just saying, unless it's eating the juice box at the bottom. I'm just saying, like, not, you know, not the whole body, just two pairs of lips underneath the waist. That's the only part you need to be eating, but you don't have to eat her like that. Not the kids either. Like, damn, let them have a fighting chance. But ghost, that's what you get. I'm just saying, like, but, you know, not the kids, though. But anyways, Milan, go sees Tommy, whatever. Tommy, he first, he was like, why do you want to die or whatever? He was like, just go ahead and kill me and get it over with. And I'm guessing Milan got off on that. He's talking about, yeah, see, that's the best way you can be. So basically, since Tommy was almost beaten to death, they didn't beat him to death. They let him stay alive because now Tommy ain't got nothing to live for. So that's the best way to be, in course, in the um, um, Serbian's eyes. I don't know because Milan is some crazy motherfucker. But we shall see. I don't know. But after all that, you know. Uh, Angela goes see Ghost in his, you know, his other apartment, whatever, and they all talking and stuff. She's like, who, how did you know about Lobos and um, all of this? I could lose my job. I could get a death penalty. And Ghost is basically playing dumb. Like, he didn't know who gave him the hint. I'm like, okay, Ghost, we shall see. Then he gets on Angela and asks Angela if she's seeing, a, uh, wearing a wire or something. I'm like, no. Like, uh-uh, no, no, no. Ghost playing dumb again, talking about, um, because she said, she said, I thought you loved me or whatever. And Ghost's like, I do love you. I do. She's like, no, you don't love me. I'm like, 
Girl, he love you. You just don't understand. But I understand you, but you shouldn't have got involved with a girl. You should have left him alone from the get-go. That's what you get for messing with a married man. I'm just saying that heart will get you in trouble all the time when your mind is trying to tell you to stay away from things. But okay, girl. She basically tell Ghost, you better find out who it is. So I'm like, what the hell are you going to do, Angie? Been, you finna tell her, um, you know, gutter like Tasha? I don't believe it, but okay. And that's pretty much how it is or whatever. But Ghost can't tell her. Angie says find out, and that's how we're going to see if the truth is going to come out because next week look like they're working together. But that's it, y'all. Y'all, that's my review for Power. It was good. I can't wait to see next week to see what happens. And since Tommy found out about, about the baby, I'm ready to see what's going to happen with that. So, again, the channel's Dr. Paul's Sister TV. I am Miss Tink. That's M-I-Z-Z, not M-I-S-S. -S. All right, y'all. Y'all have a blessed one. Bye. Mwah.